This is how to get cats to eat pills, uh, part two. Hey, it's Smella Cat. I raised seven cats in a small flat, and I'm a cheapskate travel rat. If you're into animals, budget travel, adventures, or explorations, hit that subscribe and hit on that bell. Action! So she loves this little ball, this me too. See, she just eats it. She loves it. Anyway, so if I paint it on my finger, she loves it too. And what happens is that I have her pill crushed up. It's in a powder and granule form. And what I'm going to do, so I take some meat too, I put it on my finger, and then I dip just a little bit, not too much. Okay. And then what happens is that I scrape it onto the edge of this thing. Don't stir it because otherwise it'll dissolve and it'll become very bitter. So watch me do it. This works really well. So because she likes the meat tube, right? So the medicine on the meat tube is facing this way. It's facing away from her. So she's licking, licking, and I'm squeezing. So there's fresh meat tube coming out of the tube. And then what happens is I turn it. This is how to get cats to eat medication. I go back. Oh, she spilled some here. So I scrape it back onto here. So repeat. So up, up you go. And then turn. And when it gets too bitter, I go back and I squeeze some fresh meat tube out. And it works really well. So I'll just repeat and just do it a few more times. And turn it. And then come back. And then turn it. And then come back. So for her, I think she knows that this stuff tastes really bad because the vet actually told me it's a very bitter medicine. But this meat tube is so good. Um, I'm sure the stuff in it is kind of like junk food. But in the grand scheme of things, if you have to get her, if you have to get a nasty cat to uh, eat medicine, I think it's okay, even if it's a bit of a junk food that we're we're giving her. If you guys want to support my channel, don't forget there's always Patreon. Thanks, guys. See, the thing is with the medicine, right? Because it's crushed up so fine, even if she wants to spit it out, she can't because it's already kind of semi dissolved in her mouth. There we go. Trick, trick, trick. Sometimes you just need to do it a bit at a time. So just think about it in your own perspective. If I'm giving you like a big chunk, of really bitter stuff. You want to kind of interlace it with something that tastes good too. Some people ask me, how do you get cats to eat worming tablets? Well, I think the logic is about the same, except for the pills bigger. See, she's trying to spit it out, but she can't because the morsels are so small. So here's the medicine, put it on the tip. Here, mix it with some meat too, liquid lick, and then turn. And make sure you dilute it with the fresh meat too because she can taste it. You know, it's not the best tasting thing. Or sometimes another way of doing it is I can put it on my finger like this and hope that she licks it off. Sometimes she goes for it, sometimes she doesn't. See, it's getting bitter and then I just give her more of this. Forget about it and then kind of alternate. Yeah, she doesn't like it. She likes this. There you go. So rinse and repeat. Um, here I have half of my pill that's fed already because I can't do the pill popper and I can't hold her. I can't even hold this cat. So pill popper will not work. It's going to be very stressful. So this is the least stressful way um, for everybody. Yeah. Ding ding. I hope this helps because how to get cats to take their medicine? Come on. It's um, Come on. always been like a trip through hell. Right, trust is regained. Oh shoot. It usually gets hard at the end because she learns what it is. Okay, ding ding. So when she sticks her tongue out, ideally you should wipe it on her tongue like that when she stick it out because that way it goes against the grain of, um, you know, of the hooks on her tongue. And if there's little powdered morsels, it gets caught right on it, just like cat hair would, and it'll prevent her from being able to spit it out. That's something that I've learned. Ding ding. Oh. See? See, it goes against it, the grain of her tongue. Okay, now. Ding ding, you're doing so good. And by the end, she usually doesn't want to eat it. 
And there's a very important part. Okay, let me see if I can show you. So after she's done, she's finished. Yeah, I'm try still trying to spit it out. Oh, there's still a little bit left. Don't forget, okay. patience is key. Is you can't keep doing the bitter uh, intermissions because she'll know, and then she'll start hating the meat too. And you don't want that. Okay, I think she's done. Just a little bit. Okay, ding ding. So as you can see, she's starting to hate it. Ding ding, there's nothing in this one. And she doesn't trust you anymore. She's like, oh no. Ding ding. There's nothing in this one. I'm sure this is not the only way in terms of how to get cats to take meds. She learns that there's nothing in it, nothing, nothing, and something. But it works for us. Okay. It's end on a high note. Make sure that the last bites that, oh, that she gets, it's not medicine. Otherwise, she'll remember it as being such. No medicine. I know this method takes a while, but it works, so try it out. Just as some background information, this is her Giradia um, uh, deworming medicine. It's not the best tasting, it's very bitter, I asked the vet. And they said it's supposed to be taken on um, in empty stomach, but you know, she wouldn't eat it. And I guess having it with a little bit of meat too, and having her down the whole medicine is better, better than her not downing medicine at all, right? I know it's not the most ideal because ideally it has to be a complete empty stomach, but hey, at least she's down it. Look at, there's only like a little bit left. Ding ding, you're doing so good. You're doing so good.